KABC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Harold Green, Lisa McCree, Johnny Mountain with weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 5. At this time, separate to the speak of the people's... Good evening. Covering the heat wave. Thank you for watching KSHB. This is what's happening. First at 6 on 41 News. A woman is found unconscious in a Kansas City park, but she's one of the lucky ones. The heat wave killed three people. Good evening, I'm Jim Condellis. And I'm Laurie Roberts. Thanks for joining us. First at 6, a heat wave won't let loose. From TV 18, Lafayette's news leader, Jane Kingsley, Joel Allen, Gary Seif with weather, and Rex Troutman Sports. This is Lafayette Live, TV 18 News at 11. Good evening. Lafayette School Superintendent Robert... 22, WSBT. Now, Michiana's number one news team. This is News 22 Night Shift. Good evening, I'm Todd Connor. The annual Venetian Festival Builders... 85 doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's kind of comfortable for us. It's comfortable when you compare yesterday's high of 90. 90, wow. right? Wow. Okay, thanks a lot, Steve. Coming up next on News 22, as the Miami Valley swelters in the heat, so are other parts of the nation. We'll tell you how they're coping next on News 22. Watching WXIM, Indianapolis. This is Fox 59 Nightcast. At uh, 3 o'clock, uh, we wave. From the heart of the bluegrass, this is 11 at 11 on News Channel 36. Lexington police are investigating the death of... You're watching Fox 59 Nightcast with Adam Shapiro. Deborah Zoller, weather with Ginger Gadsden, and sports with Carrie Addington. Nightcast returns in a moment. Here on Indy TV. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? This is Indy TV. From TV 18, hey. Lafayette's news lead, Stacy Schooler, Angela Buckman with weather, and Mike Bridges Sports. This is Lafayette Live, TV 18 News Live at 11. From KPLC-TV, this is 7 News at 6. You're watching 7 News at 6 with James Smith, Cynthia Arsenault, David Paul's Pinpoint Forecast, and Marty Briggs with Sports. 7 News is at your service. Witness names. Live from Kansas' number one news source, Roger Cornish, Cindy Close, Merrill Teller's Doppler Radar Weather, and Bruce Hurdle's Sports, this is Channel 12 Eyewitness News at 6. He may have walked in a witness, but he walked out an accused bombing terrorist. Good evening. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel, Scott Clark with Sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. At a time when... From Richmond's news people, this is 8 News tonight. 
where to put the statue of Arthur Ashe. City Council. From the studios of KDNL TV St. Louis, this is News 30 at 6. Tonight, Cassidy Center's mother speaks out. She wants her daughter's killer to be sentenced to death. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Leslie Lyles. And I'm Don Marsh. The Cassidy Center murder trial set. This is 32 WLKY Louisville, 32 for you. Now, Channel 32 News, the late report. The watch was on to the law. WIPV Muncie, bringing you the best. News at 5 is coming up next. Live at 5, this is KGW, Northwest News Channel 8. Before you get on board, You're watching 28 WSJV. The news starts now. This is News 28, Good Morning, Michiana. Good morning again. All is calm this morning, but this... WSOC-TV, Charlotte. This is Eyewitness News with Bill Walker, Debbie Fabian. Weather with AMS meteorologist Ray Boylan. And sports with Harold Johnson. Covering the Carolinas, this is Eyewitness News, 11 o'clock. Felix still in... In the spirit of Hampton Roads, WBEC-TV presents Terry Zong, Barbara Sierra, Jeff Lawson, and Scott Cash. This is 13 News at 11. The waves are picking up, but many in Virginia Beach say they aren't afraid of Hurricane Felix. You're watching the News Channel, WTBD, News Channel 11. The news continues with Larry Stogner, Miriam Thomas, meteorologist Bill Way with the AccuWeather forecast, and Drew Smith on sports. This is News Channel 11 Nightwatch. The winds are picking up and waves are pounding the coast as Hurricane Felix bears down on Cape Hatteras tonight. Faulkner calls and quits today at the Citadel. Now she's headed home to the upstate. Team coverage is next. Dedicated, determined, dependable. You're watching Emmy Award-winning News Channel 4 at 6. And good evening, everyone. I'm Jim McElroy. Vanessa is off this evening. It was one week ago. The... This is WGTE TV 28 Columbus. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel, Diana Williams, Scott Clark with Sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. A wall of flames... This is WPTA-TV, Fort Wayne, a granite broadcasting company station. Your number one news with Keith Edwards, Melissa Long, Dean Pantazzi, Jay Walker, and Marty Wright with good news. Now, the latest from the 21 Alive newsroom. These machines creeping back into area. Keith. You're watching Fox 59, Indianapolis. This is Fox News at 10. It's very confusing. You're watching Fox News at 10 with Bob Donaldson, Ginger Gadsden, meteorologist Brian Wilkes, and sports with Gary Mandelow. From the news station, KBIA 7. Laura Polka, Gary Warner. This is News 7 at 10. Giant lines feeding electric power to El Paso fail, causing the shiny Sun City to fade to black. This is News 7, 10 at 10. All the day's news in 10 straight minutes. 
Good evening and welcome back to the set of News 7. Thank you for staying. The Archbishop of Dublin urges priests not to lose their nerve after the recent sex scandals. The divorce referendum, Fianna Foyle decides not to campaign. And the soccer transfer system threatened by a European court ruling. This is the Channel 7 Eyewitness News 10 o'clock report. Good evening, I'm Randy Moore. And I'm Galen Daly. It's a From CBS News in New York, this is CBS This Morning. Live from West 57th Street in the center of Manhattan, I'm Mark McEwen in the CBS Broadcast Center. And now, here are Harry Smith and Paul is on. Good morning. Good morning. We have... If it's happening in Montreal, you'll hear it by daybreak. Tonight, the yes side rises, the dollar falls, and the coachless Canadians try again for their first win of the year. Newswatch with Lynn Desjardins. Good evening. Two sets of numbers dominated today's reference. You're watching 12 News at 6. Arizona's news station. Terrorism on the tracks. One dead is... They covered the Florida Panhandle and Gulf Coast. Thursday, they surveyed the area from the air and the water. You're watching WALA Channel 10. Bringing you more news, more often. Now, from the number one news station on the Gulf Coast, this is Action News 10, live at 5 p.m. The day after, folks along the Gulf Coast look in at awe at the damage left behind by Hurricane Opal. This is the Channel 7 Eyewitness News 5 o'clock report. Good evening, I'm Joe Allen. And I'm Joe. This is the Channel 7 Eyewitness News 6 o'clock report. Good evening, I'm Galen Daly. And come on. Police capture an alleged cross-country serial killer. Hello, I'm... You're watching News 25 at 5 with Bill Riles and Shelley Kirk. Weather with meteorologist Wayne Hart and sports with Mark Ashola on your exclusive Sky First Station. You need information to keep up in today's complex world. With so much information, it can be hard to make sense of it all. information you need to get ahead. Fox 7 News, coming December 4th. From Fox 7 News, welcome to Good Morning Tri-State, Evansville's only two-hour local morning news, weather, and information program. Hosted by Kendra Ante and Mark McVicker. Bringing you the spirit of the Northwest, we are KATU. Now, Channel 2 News. Well, power crews are working favor in New York. You're watching WGRZ-TV, Channel 2 News. Now, Marty Ahrens, Lori Lasowski, Kevin O'Connell Weather, and Ed Gilgore Sports bring you Channel 2 News at 6. Pleasant good evening, everybody. I'm Marty Ahrens. Lori has this night off. It was the most...
Mónica, buenas noches. Aquí está. Good evening. Now, this is News for Utah. Well, the hoopla lasted for hours this morning. First.